Okay, come on. Don't do not do it on me now. Okay? You want to record? Thank you. Okay. Okay, ladies and gents. I'm really sorry. I haven't got time to... I, I was having issues. I'm going to just go over quick thoughts because luckily I've actually got time. Thank God. If Bakalova gets a nom here, I'm predicting... Oh, the camera's over here. And sorry if I look like a mystic angel. This golden glow, the lighting was shit over here. So I had to, I had to make some adjustments. But I want to see Bakalova get nominated. I because if I see a nominated here, I'm predicting her for the Oscars. Same goes for Paul Racy. If Daryl Lindo gets nominated here, I'll heavily consider him for the Oscar. Um, I don't think he's getting an Oscar nomination, but watch out for Stanley Tucci. Sorkin can definitely not make it for director, and Saint Maud could get a lot of nominations. I saw it the other day. I really liked it. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Excuse me. That's Dan British film. Don't really care. Supernova again here. The dig, yeah, no surprise. The father. His house, supernova? Okay, fair enough. I wasn't expecting it too much. Supernova has kind of been forgotten about. Oh, oh, wait, no, there's more, there's more. Maritranian. Oh, yes, yeah, 10, isn't there? I was going to say, you're promising I wouldn't make it. Fuck me. Rocks. St. Maud, okay. Yeah, no supernova, not not too surprising. Nothing. Attack to screenplay. <gasps> Jesus Christ, the dig! Oh my God, the Mauritanian, geez, what's going on? Close you out. <gasps> no, man, Rainy! No one not in Miami! Not another round! Yes! Yes, another round! Promising young woman. Yep, okay. Rocks. Okay. I can't really process that moment what could have missed. Hmm. Oh, can't think. Supporting actress. What's going on? Back over. I'm predicting her for the Oscar. Oh, that's done. Predicting her for the Oscar. You go on, Dominique. Oh my god, Jesus! What? Oh my god, no, Glenn Close! No, Amanda Seyfried and no, Olivia Coleman! What? The jewelry thing really has done its own. Why? I don't understand. Whoa, rocks, okay. Whoa. She didn't even make comedy action. I thought. Vesa Kirby. Oh my god, are they about to stump some, some top four? Francis McDormand. Carrie Mulligan and <gasps> No what No Vala Davis No Carrie Mulligan Oh my god um what okay Soul and Wolfwalkers Film not in the English language, another round. Yep. Sure. Uh. Oh, Lame as a Oh, yeah, because that came out this year in this country. Oh, good for it. I love Lame as a Oh, cool. I didn't even know. I completely forgot about that. That's the only debut by a. Uh, I can't get Carrie Mulligan missed. What the fuck? Yeah, well, what? Are they about to snub Emerald Fennel?
Alright. What is... Comments. I need to watch this con with horses. I'm aware of it, but it's going... And again! Yes! <laughs> oh. oh, wait. I accidentally clicked off of it. What happened? What happened? What happened? Alan Kim. <gasps> God, Peter's for the time. Yeah! Yeah! For racing! Where's Ahmed? I didn't just pull out my mic, did I? Nope, it's all good. Always good. Oh, the kick going from Right Tiger. Um, Mads Mikkelsen, yes! And Tahar Rahim, Ooh, who's left? Oh, no, Daryl Lindo's done. Daryl Lindo is done. Look at another round go! Lee Isaac! Chloe Zhao. Oh, wait. David Fincher's not going to make it. David Fincher's gone. Wait. No David Fincher. No Emerald Fennel. And no Aaron Sorkin. Not that, that, that I was kind of expecting that, but still. Best film. The Father. Oh, The Father. Oh, oh wow. Okay. The Mar... Oh. Oh. Okay. No Man's Land. And what? 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 So you nominate promising young woman now? All right. So that top five isn't too surprising. Except Mank didn't make it, but at the same time, so best original score. Start from here. Trent Reznor's Cross. Promising young woman. What? Why are they giving promising young woman love in these particular? No, I'm just gonna hold this from now on. No. Okay, okay, right. Why are they giving Promising Woman Love in school, but they snub Carrie Mulligan, director, and... Oh, wait, I think you got screenplay. But still, best casting. Calm of Horses. Clearly, they love this film. I need to watch it. I, I, I only recently became aware of it, and now BAFTA are shedding it with love, so... Says something. Judas. Ju Judas! Minari. Promising Young Woman. Rock. How in the living fuck is Charlotte Chicago 7 lost this nomination? I need to look up at here, then you are there, aren't you? Oh my god. Cinematography. Okay. Ow, fucking finger. Judas! Judas! Oh, okay. That that may be a good time for its Oscar chances. Mank, Mauritanian. They're just sending love to Mauritanian, clearly. News of the World and Nomadland. Okay. Editing. Editing. Come on, Promising a Word. And yet, Promising Woman's there. And so is the father of Nomadland. So in a metal truck. Oh, okay. That's probably the most predictable one we got so far. Um, Manx's not there. I can't say that's too surprising. Yeah, that's the only real surprise. Charles Chicago 7's there. Promising Woman's there. Yeah. Some people thought Tenet maybe. I was like, no. I'm not sure if it made the long list, actually. Um, production design. The Dig. They love The Dig. <laughs> The Father, Mank, oh wait, no, this is, never mind, oh, Rebecca, whoa, okay, I hate that film, but the production design was good, Ma Rainey, whoa, Ma Rainey's not there, oh, snap, costume design, Ammonite, The Dig, Emma, Ma Rainey, Mank, Jingle Drang, I don't even know if that made the longest, actually, Emma, so yeah, Ma Rainey and Emma, they're there, Mank's there, um, can't think of what's missed yet. Okay, moving on to best makeup. The Dig? Huh? The Dig? I watched The Dig. I don't remember seeing any makeup. The hell? And then Hillbilly G. Marini Man. Okay, that was all predictable except The Dig. Why is The Dig there? Okay, now. Sound, Greyhound, News of the World, Nomadland, Soul, Sound of Metal. Oh, okay. No Tenet and no Mank. No Mank. They didn't like Mank. I thought the I thought the BAFTAs would love Mank. They they seem to hate it. They barely nominated it at all. Jesus. Best visual effects. Uh, Greyhound. Midnight Sky. One and only Ivan. Mulan and Tenet. No Invisible Man. No Mank. No Mank, notably. Um. Oh yeah, Midnight Sky is there. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Okay. S -s Sorry, I know that's not the most pre presentable way to sit, but I'm getting uncomfortable. And the lighting in this video is appalling. I must apologise. Um, one sec. Let's see if I can approve this. Best film. So, this was actually one of like the few more predictable ones. Like, the only surprise is that um, Mank didn't make it from Mario Train Tickets. Well, apart from that, I predicted this four. I can't believe that Promising Omen got in, but they snubbed it in director and actress. In actress. I do not understand what's happening. Um, outside British film, I don't really care about that too much. Uh, debut writer, I... Where's Emerald Fennel? Where's Emerald Fennel? Can you please tell me? What the hell? What the hell? Film not in English language, another round, Minari. Um, those are the only two like proper predictable ones. You never really know what's going to happen in foreign film in any place. But to an extent, I do wonder. Oh, wait, no, because they forced them to watch them, didn't they? Okay, yeah, maybe. No, yeah, maybe, okay. Documentary. Um, Social Dilemma. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, did they? Announce it? Oh, this is my first look at documentary. Um, no time. Okay. Boy State's not there. All in fight for democracy. The collective is in the social dilemma. And David Attenborough is not surprising because it's British. But wow, okay. Animated film. Um, Onward, Soul, Wolfwalkers. No surprise there. Director, go on, Thomas Vinterberg. Yes, very happy about that one. Um, and then, oh shit, where have I gone? Um, baby teeth. Wow. I mean, it's nice to see a woman. Whoa, whoa. Q I V V D. What? Whoa! I did not notice that one watching nominations. I was freaking out over fucking David Fincher and Emerald Fennel winning. Missy. Minari, Liazic Chung. Good. Rocks. Cool. Haven't seen Rocks yet. And then Nomad Lands. Those surprise probably winning. Original screenplay. Another round. Let's go. And then Mank made it, surprisingly. Because they can snub other places. And then they got, um, Promising Woman got writing. Okay. But then Rocks. And then Charles Scarlet 7. Um, Adaptive screenplay. How in the living fuck has White Tiger taken out One Night Miami and Marini's Black Bottom? They are fantastic screenplays. And I'll drop my phone. Whoops. Uh, I don't know. I'm really sceptical about putting White Tiger in my top five for the Oscars, though. I'd say Borat has a better chance. Leading actress. Um, Rada Blank for Four Year Old Version. Whoa. Bearing my shin to meet the comedy musical actress at Golden Globes. This is a shocker. And then Vanessa Kirby and Frost McDormand. I'm very happy to see. And Alfie Wood at Mayfield Clemency. Yep, yeah, I mean, that was, she had a big hype last year, and I'm happy to see her here. It's a very great film. But where in the living fuck is Viola Davis, and where in the living fuck is Carrie Mulligan? How the fuck did they miss? They were amazing in their films. And I thought Carrie Mulligan could win the BAFTA. She's not even nominated. Everyone thinks that. I don't know who the front runner is still for any of these acting categories. Oh, apart from leading actor, but still. Leading actor. I need to take a drink. It, oh, my throat fucking hurts. Leading actor, happy to see Riz Ahmed and Chaswick Boseman, Anthony Hopkins here, and Mads Mikkelsen, go on. Um, I've seen The White Tiger, Adash, Guraz is very good, and I haven't seen Tyrone the Mauritanian, but at the same time, I'm gutted, I'm gutted. Del Relinto isn't here, I'm so disappointed. Oh, man. Um, yeah, he's not getting the Oscar, people, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, it's not happening for him. Supporting actress, Mira bakalova has got a nomination, I'm predicting her for the win. Expect, not for the win, for the nomination. Yoo Jung Yoon could seriously win here because Glenn Close and Amanda Seyfried aren't even anywhere to be seen here. How in the living hell has that happened? How has this happened? Supporting actress is so up in the air. I don't know what to do with myself. And then... I'm not going to... And then Karma Forces, Rocks, got in. And then Dominic Feastback for Judas and Black Messiah. I'm not sure she deserves a nomination. I'm happy to see Judas getting love because it really needs it to get in the best picture. But I don't know. I think this is maybe a bit of a stretch. Best supporting actor. Alan Kim. Thank you. It's technically category forward because he's the equal lead with his dad. But I'm happy to see you get in. I, I do wonder when voting ended because maybe his like Golden Critics Choice win. How about no? I would have been too late. Yeah, probably not. No much. Um... Clark Peters for Defy Bloods. Him, but not Del Rey Lindo. What? What? Okay. And then Paul Reese of Sound of Metal. I'm predicting for the Oscar now. He's got this. That's, that's This is what he needed. I'd say we got... Fr we got, to be fair, we've got Kaluuya, Paul Reese and Leslie M. Jr. So that's our three for the Oscars. No... N what? Whoa! Whoa! No Charlotte Chicago 7, boys. Okay, that's a shock. 
And then the original score, what's Promising Young Woman doing that here? Because I'm so, I keep looking down here, my camera's here. What's Promising Young Woman doing here? Like, like it didn't get in, like, it didn't get an actress or director, but you give it score? Like, you fucking swap things around. That No, that's not right. And then Soul made in, Mank made in. User, to be fair, the one, two, three, four. Four of these films will bring any Oscar nomination, so it's kind of expected. Casting, Karma Forces, I really need to see that now at this point. Same goes for Rocks. Then Judas, Minari, Promising Young Woman. How hasn't the Trial of Chicago 7 made it in? I'm so upset. I'm a big defender of Trial of Chicago 7. I get it's not very good for diversity, but it's based on a true story. Like, you can't just add diversity to a true story. Like, come on. And, like, it, I wouldn't even care if it didn't win. But give it the nomination, please. Cinematography. The only... So, Mank and Nomadland, which are the two mains, got in. So, that's no surprise. And then Judas, News of the World. And the Martrani made it in. Like, whoa. Well, maybe not so much for Judas, News of the World. But Martrani is a big whoa. I'm not sure we need to keep out for this for the Oscar. Because, like, it could just be British bias. And actually, it is British bias. I don't know what I'm saying. It could be. Best editing. I'm not really going to go over it. Because I'd actually say this could be our top five for the Oscars. Funny enough. So, like, there's no real surprise here. Mank not making it isn't too surprising, to be honest. Production design. The Dig. Okay, I'm happy with that. And Rebecca, I didn't. I hate that film as many of us did, but the depression was good. And then the father, a man could use the world, made it. No, um, no Tenet, no Ma Rainey. That's surprising. I think this is literally Manx. To, this is Manx to win. Like Manx just gonna sweep everything for production design. Costumes, Ammonite, fine. The Dig, fine. Emma, good. Ma Rainey, good. Mank, good. Um, Jingle Jangle would have been nice nomination, but I don't even know who made the long list. So, oh well. Makeup and hair, the dig, fuck off. Um, Hillbilly OG, good. Marini, good. Mank, good. A Pinocchio, good. I'm happy with all them, to be fair, apart from the dig. The dig can go away and never come back. Um, Greyhound, good. News of the World. Sound, sound I'm on, by the way. Greyhound, good. News of the World. Okay, I'm happy with that. Nomad Band, cool. Soul, good. And Sound of Metal, good. But I would, I would, if I had to choose, I would swap News of the World for a Mank nomination. That is a bit shocking and ridiculous. Um, and then finally, I'm not going to go over British short animation because no one gives a shit. Um, but finally, best visual effects, Greyhounds, expected, Midnight Sky, expected, Mulan, kind of, it was in like the top eight. Um, one and only Ivan, whoa, is that in for the Oscar? Maybe. Um, and then Tenet, yeah, um, No Man Can No Invisible Man, which I'm a bit disappointed by, but it didn't even get nominated VFX Society to make the shortlist for the Oscars, so that's no surprise. Just rounding this all up, ladies and gents, I'm sorry, jeez, oh, I'm so in shock about some of them, but oh, it's all going. Just to round it all up, ladies and gents, this whole jury thing at the BAFTAs has really shown I wouldn't take much of this seriously at all for the Oscars. Carrie Mulligan's still probably going to get nominated. So is Viola Davis. That that was British bias if I've ever fucking seen it. And you were telling they you can tell that they really felt the effects of um the, the lack of diversity and really want to honour it. So wow. Um, so yeah, don't take this too seriously. But still, this is very interesting to look at. Nonetheless, just as of a thing within itself, like forgetting about the Oscar chance and everything. But anyway, ladies and gents, I'm going to leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. You'll see me next for my DGA reactions. But until then, ladies and gents, so long for now.